Hey guys, it's Brian here, back with another haul video. This is going to be my last one before Halloween, so I figured I'd get this one out real quick. Um, show you guys what I picked up. So first off, we have uh, Messiah of Evil, and this is my first uh, Radiance release pickup. Um, this is a really cool uh, release here. I didn't think I was going to be able to get this one because I pre-ordered it uh, back in August, and then it ended up... Uh, this edition ended up going out of print even before the pre-sales were done. Like, you know, um, this is limited to 3,000. So I, I got a notice from Amazon saying that um, they didn't know when this was going to ship. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one. Now, they have since um, announced uh, a special edition release of this, which is coming out soon, I think next month. So um, I think it'll have all the special features. But this one comes with an 80-page booklet. And I think the other one will have like a more of a, like a leaflet design. But uh, I'll talk about the booklet in a second because I have something that I didn't like about it. But um, now this case is really tight. So I actually took the, the uh, keep case outside of the slip case before I started this video because I wouldn't have been able to get it out. So this is what the case looks like. And this is a film I wanted to see for a long time. Um, I did have a version of it on one of those budget DVD releases. Um, this film was kind of like uh, Horror Express in that there wasn't too many decent releases of it. There was a lot of uh, public domain releases. Uh, I know um, later on I found out that Code Red had did a release of this, which was probably a decent release. I've still never seen that in the stores or anything like that. But I switched the artwork. This is the uh, alternate artwork. Because when I got the disc, it looked like this with uh, being all red. But it looks better with the red and when it's inside this, the keep case or the slip case as opposed to the black and the red. Now here's the booklet, which is, it's really cool for the most part. Like it's got uh, tons of articles and stuff like this. Um, but I'll show you here what bothers me about this release. And it's this page right here. Um, this is my favorite scene from the movie. And, uh, this actress is actually a really beautiful actress, but you can see here they didn't um, do the layout properly. Like, you can't even see her face. I can't even, you know, you'd almost have to ruin the booklet to put the image together. Like, I don't know what they were thinking on that. Um, but this is a really cool film. I actually watched this last night. Um, I, the reason why I watched it, because there was reports that Tim Lucas from Video Watchdog had two copies of this, and both copies um, were freezing. So I watched it last night and uh, it plays fine. So, so I was kind of worried about that since this uh, release is out of print. But um, still happy to have it in my collection. It was a good watch. Okay, next up we released from uh, Indicator, and this is Fascination. And I've been wanting this release for a long time. I used to have the old um, Image DVD release of this one, which those were all like. Um, they weren't even like anamorphic. They were just standard uh, widescreen, which wouldn't look too good on a high definition TV today. So this one comes with a sturdy box. This is the uh, Blu-ray. So this was uh, limited to 4,000. The uh, 4K is limited to six. So I have 2794. The numbering system on these are kind of weird because like, the other one I bought, Might of the Hunted, I think was 411. And this one's number 410. So I don't know what that's all about. And here is the uh, digi pack that it comes with. There's the information on the back too. I'll open it up there so you have another uh, alternate poster for the film. And there's the lovely uh, Bridget Lee Hale. This actress is in my thumbnail for or my avatar for my channel. So that's with that. There we go. And this one has a booklet as well. I'll have to be careful with this one. There's the director, John Rowland, because there is a fair bit of uh, nudity in this book. I haven't watched this movie in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out again. So that was fascination. All right, next up, we have Night of the Demons. 
This is the 4K release. Originally, I wasn't going to get this until I found out that it had the work print version. So I said, well, got to get it now. So I have the original Scream Factory release. And Night of the Demons 2. And this is an upgrade for me. I used to have, well, I still do have the old Olive release. That was a DVD, but that was bare bones. And this one has a director's cut, so I'm looking forward to watching this. I didn't pick up the third one. I was going to do it, and then um, I decided not to. I'll probably still pick it up uh, soon, I guess, before it uh, ends up selling out or whatever. All right. Let's see here. Next up, we have Talk to Me. And this is... I was really excited to actually have this finally in my collection. Um, then again, this isn't really my favorite company. This VVS is really annoying. Um, no slip cover. The artwork's okay, but in the States, they had, like, there was different variants. Uh, I know Amazon.com uh, had their own exclusive on 4K. We didn't even get a 4K over here, and there was a couple other. But I like the artwork, uh and the American releases and the Australian releases better than what we got here in Canada. At least this one comes with special features. A lot of the VVS releases don't. Like, this is my favorite, I mean, my least favorite uh, Canadian uh, video distribution company. And unfortunately, they seem to be the most prevalent now. But I notice sometimes that these their releases uh, go on sale for $10 at Walmart. So I probably should have waited. But, you know, oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, next up, we have Dead and Buried. Now, this is the three-disc edition. Um, I was going to buy the standard edition that came out uh, earlier this month, but at the last minute, I, I saw this at the during Cinema One's um, Friday 13th sale, so I, I scooped this one up instead. Um, out of the three editions that came out like this, this isn't the one I really wanted. The one I wanted the most was the, uh, the one with the nurse and the syringe, but... Um, I haven't seen that in stores for a long time. They actually made this a little bit cheaper. This is actually uh, on sale at Diabolic DVD right now for fairly cheap. But in Canada, it wouldn't it'd be the same price because we, we get charged a lot for uh, shipping. Um, I bought one thing from before. So I don't know. So I'm happy to have this. And last up for this haul, we have My Demon Lover. This is another Scream Factory uh, release. Um, this is for my wanted uh to have my collection for a long time and i did see that cinema one at one point had the uh warner archive edition on dvd and i'm glad i held off on buying that because that was bare bones this one does have a couple special features on it um this was a new line cinema uh release originally this one came out the same year um back in 87 as nightmare on elm street part three I remember this and trailers for that actually played during for that movie. And this one stars uh, Scott Valentine. And he was famous for being on uh, Family Ties, I guess, towards the end. I think she was he was a boy from Justine Bateman's character or something like that. In this film, he gets cursed by a gypsy. So whenever he gets horny, he turns into a monster. Um, I'm really interested to see if this film holds up. Probably doesn't. But I had fond memories of back when I was a kid watching this. All right, guys, that's it. That's my haul. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later.